Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Isaiah Banks, mental health therapist and certified fitness trainer. Today, we are discussing anxiety and how it can be a superpower. That's right, you heard me correctly. It can be a positive. And I'll explain why I say that. When you think about anxiety, what do you think about? Most people think about anxiety in a negative fashion where they're picturing someone who's getting ready to give a speech and their palms are sweaty or they're picturing someone else who's walking back and forth trying to make a decision or there's someone sitting in the corner and debilitated for with just their thoughts and overthinking right it's typically a negative way that people think about anxiety but i'm here to challenge that and actually give a different interpretation of anxiety. So one person who was famous for having anxiety was former heavyweight champion boxer, Mike Tyson. It's very well known that Mike Tyson, being known for his knockouts and his amazing boxing career, actually experienced anxiety before each and every one of his fights. He's been quoted for saying that there's times where he would be filled with fear before he went into his bouts, right? So he always dealt with that anxiety, that fear of what could happen and just the future anticipated events, right? But Mike Tyson also is famous for saying that anxiety has helped him get to the point of where he was able to go to the fights. You see, it pushed him. Mike Tyson even said in an interview that he always believed that adversity or nervousness pretty much cultivated him for his success. He said that if he didn't have these feelings, he wouldn't go into the fights, you see. And this shows you right? The power of that anxiety, right? The power of having those feelings, sitting with them, and instead of allowing them to debilitate you, you allowed them to push you forward. You leaned into the moment. And for Mike Tyson, he's able to lean into becoming a heavyweight champion, which is not an easy feat at all. You see, so people can do great things despite that anxiety. And I'm reading a book called The Confident Mind by a Dr. Nate Zinsler, and he discusses anxiety. He goes into the feelings and symptoms of anxiety and how people may experience butterflies in their stomach, a racing heart, racing mind, and they may be overcome with overthinking and how a lot of people may have these feelings and see it as something negative, but the author actually goes into how that interpretation of it being negative affects their experiences. So for example, if someone has anxiety while performing a speech, that person may start to notice that their palms are sweaty and they're starting to overthink. And they may think, oh, this is this experience is happening. So now I'm going to do bad. But the author actually goes into how you feeling nervous, right? You having no sweaty palms. That's actually just your superpower activating, right? How for you, this is just your body becoming aroused, which is pretty neutral for a big moment, for the preparation of you going into greatness. And I found this incredibly insightful and I agree a hundred percent and it makes complete sense because you're doing something that's meaningful to you. You're doing something that you care about and through the fear, through the anxiety, through all of that, in the back of your head, you know you're doing something that's great. 
And so it's value within that. And we have to hold on to that value even through times of adversity. So think of it as a superpower, similar to how the hawk turned green or how Spider-Man was able to get his webs, right? I want you to think about it as something where you are activating up, right? When you start to sweat, right? Stomach starts to hurt. You're activating up. You see, you're activating and preparing for greatness. You see. So I will leave you with that message here. I want you to take it in, really consider, right? Those times when you start to get nervous, how will you now interpret those experiences? How will you now see the moments, right? I'm pretty sure you'll have a different experience because you now have a new piece of knowledge with you. So you take care and I'll see you in the next video.